In this section, we're going to be looking at how matrices are connected to transformations. We've already met some special matrices and we've dealt some with some algebraic problems involving matrices, but now we're really going to see what they can do, what they can represent. Okay? So what I've drawn here is a little rectangle and really what I'm going to do is I'm going to represent the vertices of this rectangle using a matrix. So it's corners. So I'm going to represent its corners using a matrix. Now, you will have seen uh, with vectors that a vector can be represented so that something like this, for example, okay, where the two represents um, two going along in the x direction, positive x direction, and three going in the positive y direction. Okay, so we recognize that this is x and this is y. And you could think of that as a position vector of the coordinate 2, 3. Okay, how do you get from the origin to the coordinate 2, 3? Well, you've got to go 2 along and then 3 up. That's what a vector is describing. So the idea here is that I'm going to describe how I can get from 0, 0 to each of the corners of this uh, rectangle, okay? So I've got this point here, 0, 0. So how do I get from 0, 0 to 0, 0? Well, I go 0 along and then 0 up, okay? So 0, 0, the coordinates of that point. Then I've got the point here, 0, 1. So it would also have uh, its position vector as 0, 1. OK, uh, but you can see how I'm starting to represent each of the uh, vertices of my shape with a separate column in a matrix. This point would be 3, 1. And this point would be 3, 0. So we have a matrix that describes each of the corners of my rectangle. OK. And now what we're going to introduce is a matrix being applied to that set of coordinates. OK? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply by a matrix that's, say, 2, 0, 0, 3. OK? Now, we don't know what that matrix does, OK? But what is important is the order in which I have written these matrices down, OK? So if I want, so if um, A is being applied to B, then the order is AB, OK? The A must go on the left-hand side. Now, with this case, there's no way that I would have been able to write 2003 on the right-hand side anyway, because we know that they would be non-conformable. It wouldn't work. You can't multiply that matrix by 2003, the other way around, because you'd have four elements going up against two, OK? And so there is that mismatch. So you wouldn't be able to do it anyway. Okay? But what is important is that when I'm applying a matrix, I'm applying it on the left-hand side. We know that there's a difference from the fact that we've looked at uh, whether matrix multiplication is commutative or not. And we know that it's not. So we know that AB is different to BA generally anyway. Okay? So we need to make sure we get that order right. So when I'm applying a matrix to my coordinates, it goes on the left-hand side, OK? So let's see what happens. So we have 2, 0, multiplying with 0, 0. Now I'm going to get 0. 2, 0, multiplying with 0, 1. Well, that's 0 again. 2, 0 times 3, 1. Well, that's 6. 2, 0 times 3, 0. That's 6. 0, 3 times 0, 0. That's 0. 0, 3 times 0, 1, that's 3. 
0, 3 times 3, 1, that's uh, 3. And 0, 3 times 3, 0, that's 0. So I have another matrix now. And these can now represent a new set of coordinates. So let's plot them. So we have the 0, 0, so that one there. 0, 3, so that'd be 2, so 3 would be up here. Okay, so 0, 3. 6, 3, so somewhere over here, I reckon. Six, six three, and six zero. This point here. So, what's happened? Well, my original rectangle has doubled in width and tripled in height. Doubled in the x direction, multiplied by three in the y direction. OK, so what we are appearing to see is that this matrix is representing a stretch parallel to the x-axis by factor 2. And this part here is a stretch parallel to the y-axis, factor 3, stretching my rectangle in two different directions at the same time. Now, this was just like to see what would happen. Uh, but it is through this investigation that we will see that we can have these different matrices here that we need to be able to identify what they do. Some uh, may well be stretches like this. Some may be rotations. Some may be combinations. And our job will be to be able to tell what transformation is occurring. And we will investigate this through this section.